gorgeous day, happy day. I'm wishing you happiness, clarity, and freedom today. I want to remind you that it is so important to trust your process. Life is a process, and I know that a lot of you, myself included, a lot of us on the planet right now, we're going through really testing times. We are going through many, many, many challenges. We are being tested on this planet during this time. Okay, it is a very, very challenging time. We are evolving. We are outgrowing the system that we have been placed in, yet the system is still here. Okay, this has everything to do with Saturn and Uranus and the great conjunction that occurred in 2020. Okay, we have a Saturn-Uranus square that we're actually approaching to be almost exact. It's going to get within a half a degree later this month. Okay, and this is the tension between the system, the old system, right? The money, the work, everything, the system, everything to do with the system. And Uranus is you that wants to break free. That's what it represents. So this is what we have on the planet. And it's not easy. Okay, this is very challenging. So I want to tell you to trust the process because nature always works itself out. Nature always works itself out. Okay, nature, what I realize is that nature will always strive to go back to equilibrium no matter what. Okay, if something's off in nature, it will fix itself. It will go to equilibrium. It never stays in one extreme. Like I always say, change is the only constant. We go up and we go down. So if you are down right now, the only direction left that you can go is up. So trust the process. You will go up. It just takes time. Sometimes we stay lower and it seems like forever but you will go up, okay? You will go up. It just takes time, it takes patience, and it takes trust and it takes faith. We have to trust our process, trust the process of life. Your life is unfolding perfectly. Everything is happening for you. It's all so perfect. Trust in that. So, today we are talking about the topic of manifestation. We're talking about the dark side of manifestation. Now when it comes to manifestation, we have manifesting 3D physical reality things such as money or a house or a car, you know. Okay, there's that side of manifestation. But there's also manifesting your vibration. We are always manifesting our own mood based off of the thoughts we're having, the people we're around, the situation, the energy, we are manifesting on a spiritual level, not just physical things that we can see. We are manifesting feelings, right? When you have a super positive thought, when you're having these positive thoughts, you are manifesting positive vibrations. But when you keep feeding a negative thought pattern, a negative loop in your mind, you are manifesting a vibration that is lowered in your body more like fear, right? More like that survival state. This is what you're manifesting. So the dark side of manifestation is that we, just like we have the ability to manifest all these wonderful things, love, joy, abundance, just as you can manifest these wonderful things, you also have the power to manifest very dark things. You can manifest lower vibrations. You can manifest negative thought cycles. Okay, this is the dark side of manifestation. And it's perfect though. It's not really a dark side because, you know, without the shadows, there would be no light. Without the light, there would be no shadows. It's you need both things in life, right? You need the yin and the yang. But this is the dark side of manifestation. This is the shadow side of manifestation. Sometimes it's super easy to get caught up in our minds, get caught up in these negative cycles where we are manifesting these 
we're manifesting depression. Depression is a manifestation. Anxiety is a manifestation. We are just manifesting these certain feelings. We're manifesting these certain vibrations. That's the power of your mind. You can manifest anything, the good and the bad. Okay? You can manifest the good and you can manifest the bad. You can manifest the good just as much as you can manifest the bad. That's how it goes, the light and the dark. So, in order to become aware of this and to stop manifesting, you know, all these negative thought cycles in order to, you know, go back up to equilibrium and start manifesting more positive things, we must become aware. The main reason that we manifest things that we don't want, that aren't truly for us. The main reason we manifest things like anxiety, depression, lowered states of vibration, lowered moods, we manifest these things because we are not aware that we are manifesting these things. That's why we do it. We're not trying to do it. Obviously, you wouldn't try to manifest something that you don't want to manifest, but we do it unconsciously. It's all about us manifesting on a subconscious level. That's where it happens. It happens on the subconscious level. So, in order to, you know, bring this to light, what can we do? We must dive deeper. We must go deeper within ourselves to fully become aware of what's going on in our minds. And a great way to do this is deep meditation. And it's, it's through deep meditation where you start to uncover the things that are stored within you. Because when you're distracted, when your mind's super active, you can't be aware. When you're inside the jar, you can't see the label. You can't be aware of what you're doing to yourself. So if you want to manifest more positive things, love, abundance, success, happiness, gratitude, you have to be aware of your thoughts. It's your thoughts. It's what's going on in your mind. Okay? And you can't deliberately like consciously try to do this but when you are you know in tune with your subconscious mind when you're really in tune with your energy through daily meditation spiritual practices spending time in nature spending time alone you know it's okay to you know stimulate your mind obviously we must balance the spiritual side and the mind side and the physical side it's about balance but if you really want to become aware of your mind and start manifesting what you really want to manifest, which is happiness and positive feelings, you have to become aware. We have to become aware of what our thoughts, of what kind of thoughts that we're having. Become aware of what kind of thoughts that we're having. Are we constantly focusing on what's going wrong in our life? Or are we focusing on what's going right. We must start to focus on the present moment because in reality, there is nothing that's ever going wrong unless you're actually about to die or something. But if you're in the present moment, nothing is wrong. Everything is okay. There is no problems that exist in the present moment. So this is why, you know, when you enter the present moment through meditation, through being alone, through being in solitude, when you enter this present moment, you automatically, you don't even have to try, you automatically are manifesting what you want to manifest. It's only when you start to become distracted, you start to look outside of yourself, you start to look for things, you start to leave the present moment. It's when you start to leave the present moment when you start to manifest the things that you don't want to manifest, because it happens unconsciously. That's the key. It happens on a subconscious level. It happens beneath your awareness. And I also want to say, like, we are the ones that are creating our own problems. There are no problems. There are no problems. We are just creating the problems in our minds unconsciously. But when you become conscious, when you become aware that you are actually the one that is creating your problems. You are the one that's manifesting your problems. Okay, when you become aware of this, 
you just let go and you stop doing that, okay? But if you're not aware that you're even doing it, it's impossible to let go. It just happens automatically, it happens on a subconscious level. So it has, this has everything to do with the subconscious mind. It has everything to do with the subconscious mind. When you're distracted, you can't detach. Automatically, it's the survival state. It just becomes active automatically when you're distracted and you're not present. Because you always think something's wrong, like you have to go and do something, like you have to hurry up, like you're in danger. But no, you're not in danger. You're good. And this is the awakening that's happening on the planet. We are realizing that there is no danger, there is no fear. We are good in the present moment. Everything's all good. There is nothing to be afraid of. There is absolutely nothing that you have to be afraid of. Because life is a gift. Life is an absolute gift. And it's such a gift when you realize that nothing is being imposed upon you. You are creating your own problems. You are creating everything. You are manifesting your own fears. Fear is a manifestation. False evidence appearing real. It's false evidence appearing real. It's an illusion. It's appearing real. Okay, it's, a, it's an illusion. <laughs> Simply an illusion. Appearing real in the mind. Appearing real. Appearing. It's not real though. It's not real. Because the only thing that is real is the present. Present moment. Not what's up here. The only thing that's real is the present moment. And it's where, it's where love exists. It's where happiness exists. Fulfillment, purpose, passion. Okay? And again, trust your process. It's not an easy process dealing with the subconscious mind, dealing with manifestation, <clears throat> raising your awareness, becoming aware of all these things that are just under the surface. This has everything to do with the 12th house where Saturn finds its joy, where things are hidden really deep beneath your subconscious mind. And for me, a lot of things that were lowered that I wasn't aware of are coming to light. They're coming up, okay? If you ever have a 12th house transit, you know it's pretty deep, okay? It's, it goes pretty deep. Deep things are coming up from your subconscious mind. Things are coming to your awareness that you didn't even realize. Like, I'm realizing that I was creating 99% of my problems. I don't have any problems. I was just feeding these negative thoughts and creating all of these pre all these problems within me. Okay, but it's an illusion. There are no problems. Everything is right in nature. Everything is perfect. That's where we are headed. This is where we are headed. So look forward to it. I promise you, you are on the way up. If you are going through hard times right now, the only way is up. The only way is up. That's why when you get so low, when you get to your lowest point, all you can do is have this massive transformation. That's when we transform. That's when we rise up and we change. Okay? Pain and suffering and challenge it forces us to grow. It causes us to grow. So it's a good thing. It's a natural thing. Nature is the only truth. Balance is the only truth. Equilibrium is the only truth. Okay, remember this. Remember this and trust your process. Everything's going to work out for you. Everything is going to work out for you. Much love to you. Much joy to you. Much happiness to you on this beautiful day. I hope you're enjoying your day. I want you to like this video. Smash it. Demolish it. Destroy the like button. I want you to subscribe to the channel if you are new. I want you to comment down below what you think about manifestation. What do you think about the dark side of manifestation? How we manifest things that we aren't aware of. How it happens on a subconscious level. Let me know what you think. I love you all. And make it a great day or not. Choice is yours.